All right, guys, I told you I would give you the finished look. And this is it. This lighting is like, she, my mom has red sheets on her bed and it literally reflects right into my face. Let's try the bathroom. I have a little bit better lighting, I think, in here. Still not that great. Um, you know what, we'll try it. We'll do it outside in the car after I get my nails done. But I just wanted to show you guys the end um, ending product like I told you I would. I'm having a really hard time on camera lately with any sort of like artificial light. My face casts a really gray appearance toward like my chest, which is so weird because like, I mean, if I'm in full natural light, you can see that they're literally identical. But like the minute I go into artificial light, hold on. Like, do you see how it looks gray? Isn't that the craziest thing? Does anybody else have that issue? Because like in real life, I look, my skin looks flawless. Listen to me, but you know what I mean? Like, and then boom, I come back into natural light and it just looks so much more perfect. So anyways, this is the finished look. I'm gonna get scooting and uh, I actually just had one of my meetings run really late. So now I am in turn running really late, but this is this. I don't think my boots match. Oh, you can't see my boots. I just basically showed you my ass, sorry. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna get going and um, I'll catch up with you once I get these all done and then we will talk a little bit more. All right, guys. So I this is awful light like what is with my life right now? I feel like I can never have good light again, but you guys I finally went I got my nails done um, Nothing too exciting there um, I just picked up you know This is how you know that you're getting old like I just had this moment where like when you need get like and it's not this isn't it like I'm gonna get to mine in a second But you know that feeling when like you you've waited and you have to get gas and then you go get gas and like It's like, you know 10 cents less a gallon or like you know how it's like that adult kind of thing So I went to pick up my parents prescription and they met their deductible So their prescriptions were less and I was like whoa like I was so excited And because one of them's really expensive and I was just like through the roof excited and I'm like this is how you know you're getting old, bitch. This is how you know you old. Like, when you're excited because your medication is less, like, yes, I'm excited now. So, that was my happy moment for the day, um, which means they finally met their effing deductible, which you wouldn't think, like, oh, it's a, it, uh, uh, it could choke a bitch. So, anyways, I'm excited about that. And the pharmacy was actually super sweet. Like, I am the type of person where I have to go somewhere for convenience. Like, that's always been how I have to do things because I just don't have a lot of time. And so, I've always went over to a different pharmacy. I'm not going to, like, name names, but I've always went to a different pharmacy. And, um we have been having issues with them filling one of our prescriptions like between my parents and I we and like obviously I do all of the like getting and the obtaining of all the prescriptions for all of us just because it's easier I take care of it like I know the insurance and the money and like all of that I do all of that and um just because it's it's what's easiest so anyways that was not relevant but um it, it's one of those things where every month we go through this we have it's the same prescription every month and we didn't have a problem forever. And then all of a sudden, like, um, probably like eight, nine months ago, boom, problem. Like, we could not get our pharmacy to have our prescription. The other day, we dropped it off. And we were like, okay, you know, we're not picking it up till this date. Da -da 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 -da. We went through everything. And um, they're like, not a problem. We have it. And we have it in stock. We're just going to fill it and we'll hold it for you. I was like, okay, thank you so much. Like, it, finally, we thought they got it straightened out. We go to get it and it's not fucking there. And I'm like, <sighs> and I was like literally livid. And the girl that like I was dealing with was so sweet and she was trying to be so helpful. And I was just like so annoyed and it's not her fault, but it was like, literally this has now happened for the ninth month in a row. And she's like, I cannot understand. She's like, you guys have this issue a lot, don't you? And I'm like, yes we do and she's like i don't know why like we don't have this issue with any other person or prescription she's like we literally do this like because it's it's a more expensive medication and so it's like you know it, it i understand like if you don't stock it it's expensive like i get it i'm not like mad but could you like have it here because like you know we take it like it, it you know what i mean like why isn't it here she's like i don't know why we don't have it here we have special orders all the time like that's not that's not uncommon and i'm like 
great. So anyways, she called over to another pharmacy and she like found it for us because where we live, like it's a small-ish town. So like any of the higher end drugs that you take, a lot of times they have to be ordered in. So this drug, it's one that like not everybody has normally. Well, it just so happened that another pharmacy had it in town. She found it for us and then sent us over there and had them pull it off the shelf so that they didn't sell it before we got there. So she was really sweet about it. And like the other pharmacy that I just got back from is so fucking sweet. Like, honest to God, they are, they're just so nice. Like they're such sweet people. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm about ready to head back now. I'm not sure what we're doing today. I really, really, really want to see Love, Simon, like really bad. And I think my niece does too, but I haven't finished the book yet. I'm reading the book right now and I haven't finished. So I'm kind of like, mm. kind of like all pissed off about it. Cause like I wanted to read the book first, but whatever. So any hoot, um, I have a thousand things to do. P.S. I'm sorry that I ended let, there's a lady staring at me in a parking lot. Stop it don't you vlog lady she's like 107 so no she doesn't vlog she's probably like what's vlogging but anyways i'm i'm a bitch um what where was i going with that last time i was something 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 oh so i'm really sorry i ended last week's vlog like really abruptly i was getting ready to like leave go out the door like i had meetings i had other stuff i had to do today even to like get to the rest of my day i had other things i had to do it was super early and i was just like i was thinking back on it because i ended it this morning before i started this vlog and i was like thinking like last week's vlog was so short and just like i feel like it didn't have a lot of like really good substance to it so i don't know i'm just kind of like Ugh. But I also had like a really off week. So like just so you guys know, I am sorry. This vlog I'm really hoping is exciting and even in light. Hello. Because right now I'm sitting in the dark apparently. Because I don't know why. You guys, this shirt, it's not this low cut. But oh my god, it's so cute. Like how cute are these little lemons? You guys, I love shirts with lemons. I have, I now have a dress with lemons. This shirt, I bought another dress from Torrid that had lemons on it. But I look fugly in it. So I'm probably going to return that. But you know, adorable. What can I say? I just love, I'm just, I love it and it's like spring like you know i'm like i'm like if i put the vibe out there lemons green white yellow spring lots of this i'm really hoping that like the weather's gonna catch up and be like oh spring like yes please meanwhile uh, when i went when i left this morning it was like 24 degrees and i left in this outfit like i'm wearing a this is a tank top and i'm wearing a thin little sweater like i taught i brought a jacket but like i'm trying to let people remember it is spring i want spring therefore I um, am not wearing a jacket. It's like my own personal way to punish myself because it's not spring yet. It doesn't make sense, but it's how I'm rolling. You know you're in Northern Michigan when everybody stares at you because you're vlogging. Like there's two people in that car, two people in this car, a person in that car, a guy in a truck over there. Like I have great peripheral vision. I can see all of you staring at me. <laughs> How dumb you think I am, people? <laughs> so anyways, it's time to go, like, go do something. Oh, there's the light. Hey, bitch, what's up? Um, so yeah, it's time to go do something. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit and uh, see what the day holds because I don't know yet. I'm already exhausted. I've already been up for like 100 hours and it's like 11 o'clock. So mm. I really like this dark color on my lips. I'm digging it like here. Can I get into the light a little bit? It looks really crooked on camera. I don't know why. You guys. What somebody said like oh your lipsticks are always crooked you guys my lips are crooked like this side naturally Dips down a lot more than this side like it looks it's like a Nike swoosh You know how they go check like that. That's what my lips do they go down and then up So like this side is really low compared to this side like it goes down and up it's not that my lips are crooked. I don't plan on really wanting Botox. So my lips are not like they're crooked. It's not the lipstick that's crooked. My lips are crooked and there is lipstick on my crooked lips. So sorry if you don't like it. But this is the shade here. I could pull it out of my pocket for you. <laughs> I know. I did a little bit too much bronzer today. So like I have a little bit of like a like a bronze line right there. But we're just like kind of doing one of these. And like hoping no one notices. No? Okay. But this is the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick. This is in the shade Chocolate Souffle. It's one of her lip the lipstick. I don't know what the hell these things are called, but it's one of her these lipsticks. And uh, they're actually really nice, really comfortable. Again, they remind me a lot of a ColourPop Luxe lipstick. So 
big shock there uh, but I really like this color it's like a deep brown and I loved it because I went like a lot more subtle with the eyes today not that you can hardly tell but I went more subtle with the eyes so I, I really liked the punchy lipstick but any hoot I'm gonna go now now that I've talked about nothing and I officially just had that lady stare at me for the last six minutes which I'm like <laughs> by the way my brows can we talk about my brows and like how normal they look right now like look at the normal shape of these damn ass brows that's right y'all said my brows was too thick I fixed that shit. I made them thinner. And I actually like them. It's not that I didn't like them thin. It's that when I first got started, like, really getting into my brows, I didn't know if I liked them thicker or thinner. Because I have such a big face, I liked thicker brows because I felt like it complemented my face. But then you look at them, like, in relation to what a brow should be, and it's like, maybe it should be a little thinner. So I'm trying to, like, find that medium, like, thinness where, like, I know that, like, if I had a smaller face, I'd be more comfortable with thin brows but because I have a big face and I wear glasses they literally ride right at my glasses so then I'm like you can't even see them and then do I look funny you know what I mean it's like there's so many different things that I have to like balance but I'm listening y'all because I'm trying to figure out my my brow game just like the rest of this damn world is so okay I'm really done now it's been like nine minutes of me talking about nothing so I'm gonna go and do life and I will check in with you guys after a little while after I figure out what the hell I'm doing today or with my life in general you know either would be cool and um yeah I'll check in later <laughs> all right guys so the lighting not the best but hello it's the next day um we did in fact watch jumanji last night it wasn't bad i don't think i actually quite enjoyed it i thought it was cute what'd you think liz i thought it was okay she thought it was all right it was cute it was different that's sad he slept through it so he's got a lot of really good reviews on that movie um but it was good it was it was good i liked it because we watched an interview he likes cookies still guys i don't know if you remember that vlog or not uh, but he still wants me to make him cookies, even though I did several times. More cookies! <laughs> no more cookies. <laughs> I'm done making cookies. Yes! See, my diet right now can't have cookies. And I don't want to make him cookies, because I can't even so much as lick one. You suck. I... <laughs> I thought of, I did think about making the guys like a dessert or something though because I feel bad because in the winter especially in the winter like I always bake for them so that way they've got like you know cookies or cakes or treats or you know something and I haven't done anything in like a couple months and like just because life got away from me and so here I sit like I kind of feel bad maybe I should have made something tonight should I have baked tonight I did take a nap earlier you guys I crashed like I yeah, I fell asleep pretty hard earlier, like probably a two hour, like I did, don't get me wrong, I wasn't sleeping like, you know, REM cycle, but I was like, yeah, yeah, like out for a minute, like I even did one of those really attractive where you're like sleeping and you fall asleep like this, yeah. like with your mouth open, it was really cute. I should have taken pictures. Yeah, it was pretty great, Um, and I woke up like, because I could like tell that my mouth was like open and gross, so any hoop. Um, I'm pretty awake right now. <laughs> you guys, my highlight looks so good in this awful lighting. Actually, my skin looks pretty good in this lighting. This is the foundation I'm testing. This is the Origins foundation. Um, you guys will have already seen this, obviously, by the time this vlog goes up. But, like, damn, homie, I look good. Like, what's up, homes? I ended up with, like, a patch of highlight right here. I don't know how that happened, but any hoop. Um, I am thinking I might need to make uh oh I was like staring at my chin like the camera was like right here uh, but I'm thinking I have an itch right here like all right on the inside right now. oh my god my god <laughs> but I, maybe I should make something for the guys oh and then this was the eye look from today I uh did the what are those the color pop um um color pop friggin frick loose pigment there we go the color pop loose pigments um you, which you guys will have obviously already seen turned out beautiful what <laughs> so lizzie likes sweet tea and my mom drinks unsweetened tea and lizzie just took a big old pull of my mama's unsweetened tea which if you're not used to drinking unsweetened iced tea um some people equate it to licking an ashtray my dad hates 
unsweetened iced tea because he says, I love it. I love unsweetened iced tea. I cannot drink sweet tea. Literally makes me gag. I hate sweet tea. Love unsweetened iced tea. Love it, love it, love it. Best um, unsweetened iced tea, though, honest to God, is from McDonald's because they brew it and it's so good. Like, I've bought it by the gallon before. Like, I called up the restaurant and I was like, hey, can I buy like five gallons? Like I'm going uh, downstate and I would like, like we were camping and by camping I mean like I slept in a house and watched videos on my phone all weekend in the middle of the woods and like shotguns, but it was a good time. But anyways, I wanted like a big, a big thing of unsweetened iced tea and um, I procured it from the nice McDonald's people because their tea was so good. It's like my favorite, like it's so good. Delicious. But anyways, oh my God, I keep getting so off tangent. Jumanji. Why do I need to slow down? Because I talk fast? I listen. I literally listen to myself every day. I record videos. I edit videos. That's all I do is listen to myself. You might as well slow down. Live on an island. I don't want to slow down. I look like I have 17 chins right now. Do you know what animal Timon is from the Lion King? Timon? Timon and Pumbaa? He's like a little, um, um, I do know what he is. Fuck. He's, oh shit. He's a little, oh, he's like a little terrier rat looking fucking thing. Um, but like the African version. What is he? Meerkat. Meerkat, yes, meerkat. Thank you, he's a meerkat. Are you just gonna like... What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, Jumanji. What? You were talking about Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah, back to Jumanji. So, sorry, I got really into this. What is this called? NCIS? NCIS Los Angeles. The one with the guy from that show um, that I don't remember. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. Thank you, Lizzie. God, she really is my brain. The one with the, the Robin from Batman and Robin. Anyways, <sighs> Jumanji. We watched an interview with The Rock a while ago. And basically, he had said, someone was like, oh, aren't you afraid that, you know, people are going to think like you're trying to just outdo Robin Williams, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, no, we don't want to. We want intentionally for this movie to be different. We want this movie to be um, different than his. We want it to be something that stands alone. And I just, I liked that they appreciated it because, like, you can't outdo Robin Williams. Like, don't even try because... Robin Williams is the shit. The actual shit. Love that man. That was a tragedy. Um, but any hoop. Hoop. When did I start saying hoop? Any hoop. Yeah. Any whoop day deal. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I'm going to go find something to do. Something to do. Look at my shadow. Something to do. God, I look so cute when I'm trying to see my eyelashes. You look a little high. You know, I pretty much always look and sound high. I've been I've been told that my whole life. Like, Paige, are you high? Like, no. Fuck, I wish, but no. <laughs> Actually, I don't wish because I have enough of an issue up there. I can't imagine not being, like, of sound mind and body because I already have issues. Like, a tuma. I got a tuma. It might actually help. That's true, it could. You never know. You never know. Oh my god, Henry's hard soda. You guys, I don't drink, but that looks damn good. They've got it in like orange grape and lime or something. And I gotta be I gotta be honest, when they bought that grape one on a screen, my mouth watered a little bit. Are those good? Have any of you guys had them? Because yum. I seriously miss not being able to have alcohol. Mainly just because I loved like certain ones. Like, I don't miss the alcohol part of it because I was... You miss the taste. Right, I miss, like, and, and like, the, 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 what's the, the social aspect of it. Like, going out with my friends and, like, getting to have, like, a margarita. And now it's like, oh, you guys enjoy your margaritas. And I'll, like, drink my water. And I'll, like, watch you drink your margarita. <laughs> and silently, I hate you. Like, it's one of those, you know? You know what I mean? Oh, you wouldn't know what I mean. You're only, like, five. Never mind. 15, almost 16. Yeah, she's almost 16. My niece is almost 16, you guys. Disgusting. No offense, but I'm not happy about this. She's so old. She used to be this young, like, you could you so much. I'm almost at 12 I know, I don't like doing that shit. Wait, when did it be 13? No, it's 12. 28. 
There's a little overlap. No, 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 no. Then it'd be... I was 12 when you were born. Right. And you will be 16 in like a month. Yep. Ergo, it is 12 years. This kid. Public schools are not teaching her math, apparently. No, they do. They just teach us the wrong kind of math that we do not need. Yeah, <laughs> they just teach you core math. What's 10 plus 10? Well, if you take the 10 apart and you bust it into three subgroups, and then you add the subgroups, and you carry the 1 and the 2 and the 3 and the 4 and the 10 and the 11, and then you go smack your grandma's ass, then you're going to come up with 20. Or like they teach you uh, algebra they don't even need. A plus B equals C. Fine. Hey, hey, I can't say anything about that, because I've actually used algebra a lot in my life. Yeah, but... It's true. Oh, I just fucked my neck up. Are you a giraffe? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go do something because I've been recording for 11 minutes and nothing has been said. Other than I've been interrupted by the cookie monster in the other room and I have watched TV on camera, which is very exciting. And uh, I just and wanted to in check your, in. In one of your vlogs, you recorded yourself with the TV. Uh, yes, I did. You are referring to when I record, rec recorded, recorded, when I recorded myself with 16 candles, or not 16 candles, oh my god, pretty in pink, and it was so good, because it was the very end, and it was Molly Ringwald, and we were, like, having a moment with her, Ducky, me, like, it was a whole thing. It was a thing. Totally thought he was standing over my shoulder. One time I was sitting here like this, like, vlogging, and he scared the shit out of me. Like, he grabbed my arm. I fucking screamed bloody murder. It was awful. So now every time I'm here, I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, they really love it when he scares me in my vlogs because it's effing hilarious. One day, I was making him cookies. I will not look away from this wall. I was making him cookies right there, and he walks up behind me. It's still on the internet. It's on that vlog. And I was making him cookies, trying to be a nice noodle, and he comes up behind me, and he's like, Bleh! and I was like, Bleh! and it was like a whole thing. And I was like, I'm never making you cookies again. And guess what? You're never going to get any cookies. Sorry, my family doesn't tamp. It's not there. I have a tumor. I'm going to use my tumor card. You cannot use that as an excuse. I just want to use my tumor card. You are not every other person on the planet. I you know. Use it as an excuse. I thought you were above this. I am above this. I just like complaining. Okay. Alright guys, I'll check in with you later. I just wanted to check in with you because it is Sunday. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Except it's not so fun because I am boring. Whoa, look at that natural light flooding my face. What side of sauce? Oh, look at, my, look at me. Look at me. Look at all of me. Look. Oh my god, skin. Oh my god. Let there be light. God, I look so good. Oh, well, my eyes look even more intense. Oh, my brow bone highlight is so good. The light is killing me. Okay, you can shut the light now. That's right. We like it dark in here like our souls. Our souls. All right, guys, so now that I actually have my makeup on for the day, I decided to do something a little different. I went with, like, a really, like, chill, more neutral eye, just, like, a cool tone brown kind of situation, but I really wanted, like, a nice pop lip, and all the lipsticks I had, they weren't, like, the color I was going for. Like, they were either too pink or too fuchsia or too red or whatever, so I actually took a lip liner, and then I just put, like, a gloss over top of it, like, with a, t a tiny bit of tone, and it kind of, like, created the perfect lip that I wanted, and it matches. This is my velvet. <laughs> you guys, I'm so extra, but this is my velvet, um, like, sweater type situation, but it's got these cute little flowers all over it, so I kind of was, like, matching myself to my flowers. I don't know. It's real cute, though. I'm not a big fan of, like, matching makeup to what you're wearing, but this was one of those where I loved, like, this light pink color, and I wanted it to pull and pop from my lips, so I don't know, and then I have on those knee-high um, boots that I was wearing the other day, the brown ones uh, from the last vlog, so I love them so much. Um, wow, really loud truck right now. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. You're taking too much time. Nothing's on my lip? Okay, good. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this. And I am like in quite the conundrum with this foundation. So you guys, I am trying again today the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. And if you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you know that for the most part, I don't ever just try a foundation one time. Unless it's really bad. And then I'm like, fuck this, I'm never touching it again. But this was one of those foundations that when I tried it the first time, I was like, 
oh my god ew and then I wore it throughout the day and I was like wow that looks really good and it went back and forth and back and forth and so I wanted to try it today again because I haven't tried it I tried it for that video which was my first impression and then I tried it I think one more time after that and then I just I got other foundations and stuff but what I struggle with with this foundation is how bad it looks when I apply it it looks patchy and awful if you watched my uh my Burt's Bees first impression a long time ago when they first came out with their foundation that is when like that foundation looked so bad and it just it was so bad I couldn't leave it like I had to take it off and start over and the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation looks a lot like that foundation when I first applied it like it's patchy it's awful the coverage is crap like it looks so bad when I first put it on my skin but then as I said it and I like went on with my first impression video it looks beautiful and like the coverage is really nice and it just overall it looks absolutely stunning so then I was like okay and then I wore it throughout the day and it wore really well so this foundation is like it, honest to god it just floors me because I never know like I, I don't know it looks so bad but then like you get it to this stage and look how beautiful it looks like I'm being blasted with natural light what the hell is on my nose but I'm being blasted with natural light right now and it looks gorgeous like everything looks super smooth and covered and fabulous so I this foundation is so perplexing to me I I have a hard time using it because it looks so bad at first like it's it's just ridiculous but anyways I'm gonna go do my day I just wanted to stop on here show you what I have that's you know cute going on right now which is everything and um yeah we're gonna see what this day has in store for us it's a Monday so it usually has garbage in store but that's okay it's beautiful outside so I might have to like venture out into the real world at some point uh, just because it's gorgeous and I feel like I could use sunshine so I will check in with you guys here in a little bit all right you guys good morning I don't know why I was holding my camera like that but good morning um, I'm just stopping in real quick I have to run to the doctor's appointment so I just did a real quick like super simple put together situation nothing too exciting here um, but I just wanted to stop in and say good morning and um, just let you guys know we're going to the doctor so exciting um, I may or may not check in when I'm there it depends on like how busy they are and if the doctor comes in and if I look like an idiot there's a lot of factors involved at a doctor's office but uh, they all pretty much know that I'm crazy so it's fine but anyways I just wanted to stop in and uh, say good morning because I don't know that I did yesterday and uh, I miss you guys when I'm not with you and I look a adorable right now can we just talk about like how good my skin looks my hair good like the whole situation right now is pretty fire like I'm not gonna lie I, I I'm digging it it's put together I'm late so I gotta go I gotta actually put shoes on because I just realized I have no shoes on I was literally like oh I grabbed my purse it's like right here like I'm gonna leave at no page you're gonna put shoes on and it's like negative 10 nipples outside so you should probably put on a fucking jacket like get your life together um so I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit and uh, hopefully um get some blood drawn because I need a blood draw all right well fabulous people let's see if i can actually get you like near the light i feel like every time i talk to you in my car i'm in like a ridiculous shadow anyways it doesn't matter um so i just got done at the doctor's and that was like it wasn't frustrating in the sense of like oh my god she was an ass she was actually really really nice it was more or less frustrating in the sense of like I <sighs> Okay, first of all, my appointment was like a half hour. I wanted to talk to them about like a thyroid issue and, and just getting some information on it. Um, I've always had a history of issues with my thyroid um, on and off and da, da 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 I can get into that later. It's not relevant to my story at the moment. So in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, half hour appointment. Like that should be totally fine. You know, whatever. Um, literally an hour and a half later... I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. And don't get me wrong. She was super thorough. She was really nice. I've never seen this doctor before. Um, my primary doctor, I guess, broke his leg or something. And like, you know, he's not here right now. Um, but she was really, really sweet. She was super thorough. Um, but I kept getting this feeling like, because I was telling her that I get really sick, that I am really sick, like I have a tumor. And I was kind of running down um, all of my issues, like in that sense. And the one thing, there's a lady walking by my window right now. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Walk by, walk by, walk by, walk by. Okay. She literally stared at me that whole time like one of these. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyways. So she kept like... It was almost like she didn't believe me because my makeup is done or because I look a certain way. Like, people tend to look at me and think that I'm not sick. And I understand, like, that you can look at someone and be like, oh, they don't look, you know, they don't look sick. But that is literally the one stigma that I fight against so fucking hard. Like, the, I am so sick of people saying, like, oh, you don't look sick. Bitch, okay. 
so what? Like, people don't look like they have cancer, but when you find it, they've only got three months to live. Like, clearly they were sick. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many illnesses and so many issues that you can't see. And the whole reason, the whole reason that I got into makeup in the first place and got into, like, that whole side of things is because I don't like people being able to see my sickness. I don't like people being able to see that I don't feel good. I wanted to be able to be normal. I wanted a shot at a normal life where people looked at me like I wasn't a sick person and so it was kind of frustrating because like don't get me wrong she was really nice she didn't say anything but I kept feeling like that underlying like are you really sick or not even like judgmental but very just like are you sure you know like that questioning thing and after a while she finally was like you know like it, it ended because you know she just I think she realized like oh wow this girl actually is sick and you know we were able to continue but it was just like like really you know what I mean I don't, I don't know I was just a little frustrated by it and she said that when I come back I'm actually gonna meet with a different doctor who knows a little bit more about my issues and stuff because my my stuff is a little bit it's a little unique um, most people don't have this many issues and they don't have this type especially not where I'm from so anyways oh there's a there's an old dude coming but anyways um, she said all of that and um, it was this is the worst angle I could possibly be at in my life hold on like oh look at that that's my steering wheel cover really cute this old guy is honest to god staring at me right now like what is it with people in northern michigan okay guys so things i've actually said to myself in the last 10 minutes um why are you so cute i literally said that i was like look, i'm wearing my coca-cola shirt which i love this shirt and these are a pair of earrings that i'm obsessed with like i'm obsessed like look at the curly q cuteness of them like i I can't even stand my world but anyways I love them and I was like why are you so cute and then I was like you need to stop talking uh, but anyways I'm trying a different uh, foundation combination today and yeah that's about all I got I just finished up this part two of the um, ColourPop there we go I'm like ColourPop um, butterfly collection which it went really well I mean you will have seen this already by the time you um, watch wait you will have seen that already by the time you see this but like, I'm obsessed with the glittery cuteness of my eyelids right now. I'm, like, doing that thing where you're, like, trying to look at it, but, like, you got to peek with the other eye. <laughs> I'm so cool. Anyways, so, that's that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go do life. I really didn't have much to check in on other than my cute earrings and my Coca-Cola shirt. That's how exciting my life is. Like, Paige, what have you been up to today? Well, I really like this shirt. Um, it's not, like, new. I just really like it. And I really like these earrings. Um, that's my life. <laughs> okay. So, I will talk to you guys hopefully throughout the day. And uh, I just like to check in in the morning when my makeup is fresh so you guys can see what I look like in, like, real lighting. This is, like, a window that's coming through so you guys get to see what I actually look like. So, that way it's not like, are you one of those people that only exists in the studio? Like, <laughs> no, trust me. If anything, I think I probably look better in natural light than in created light. Wow, that brow looks really good. Oh my god. My brows look good as fuck today. Like, yes, queen, look at this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I admire myself all day long. It's just, it's like I'm a professional. Like, I just sit there with a mirror all day, and I'm like, oh, yes, yes, ooh. All right, you guys. Well, here I am in all of my red face, no makeup glory. This is the bed. See this? See that blanket right there? Yep, that's the bed. And it's calling my name. So... Um, I'm thinking it's time for me to end this vlog and, um, you know, chillax and, uh, go do some fun things. Um, excuse me, um, ma'am, ma'am, can I help you? You guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog, and if you did, please do not forget to comment and like it and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, because, I mean, if all of this personality, if you don't stay for this, I don't know what you're staying for, so I really don't, um. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you with something? Ma'am? No? Yeah, you're about ready to climb on my back or something. I don't like that. When she climbs up on my back, she, like, will climb up on my shoulder or something, and then she, like, digs her effing claws in, and it's like, oh, I think I'm actually dead now. Cool. Great. Bleeding from the shoulder wounds that you have now left me. Hmm. So, anyways, you guys, have a great week, and I'll see you in next week's vlog. You have anything to add, little? Can you say hi? No, are you just like, F off, I hate you, I'm really old? Little. Who's a beautiful kitty? Who's, be who's got liver spots? <laughs> oh, baby. I know. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi, mama. You got liver spots. I'm sorry, was that not acceptable? 
wanna you wanna headbutt me? Does it make you feel better? There you go. Give it a good headbutt. Oh nice. Yeah, I know. It probably don't taste good. That's called a day's work that don't taste good. Yes, hi honey. I love you. I do. You're my widow. You're my widow one. You're gonna bite me, aren't you? Oh, thank you for not biting me. You're gonna bite my cheek, I know it. <clears throat> Yeah, hi, little. Hi, mama, little. Zoom that shit out. Yes, little. You lost your close up. Aw, thank you. You guys know shit. That is exactly what this cat does. Like, look at her. She's so pissed at me. Um, anyways, that's her. That's her go-to thing. Like, if I'm not paying attention to her, she like rubs up against my shoulder. Like, she gives me a chance to pay attention. And then when I don't, she's like, oh, let me lick your cheek. Lick, lick, lick. And then like on that third lick, it's turning into a bite real quick because she's like, why the hell are you not paying attention to me? I am the queen of all. I just gave away your secrets, queen. Yeah, uh huh. You try to be all cute now. I know what's up. I see you. I know what's going on. She's so old. I mean, not to like reveal a woman's age or anything, but like, woof. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you. You're beautiful. Okay, you guys, for real, <laughs> that was time with me and my cat. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Bye, widow. 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 Widow, you guys say goodbye. Goodbye. I'm, I'm sorry. Fuck off. Just kidding. <laughs> I will say goodbye. Goodbye.